For me, I, the food thing was a process of elimination because it was one particular time I thought I was mad. I thought I was, I thought I was crazy. And I was going to see, I was sent to child guidance when I was at school because I was dangerous to the other kids. And um, I thought it was all talk therapy, but none of it, it, I used to leave there and just be even more madder than when I went in. Because they would go, regurgitate all this stuff about my symptoms, but never gave me any answers. So it's just, I, you, you know, I sit down for an hour, you amplify how crazy I am and then go see you next week. And then leave me to walk out on the street with more consciousness about how fucked up I am, basically. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, then I, I kind of fell, I can't remember, I kind of fell into, with, with the internet, a lot of stuff comes up about food. I was always into training. So the good thing about the internet, it has the algorithms pick up what you're looking at, and then they put other stuff that they think. So if I'm, I'm looking at training and movement, and then food just kept coming up all the time. So then I started studying that, and then there was a lot of doctors, and then I got into Google. And then, um, first of all, it was all about making your muscles look good. So it was all about proteins and cutting carbs and all of this stuff. But then, slowly and slowly, I came across stuff like empowering, like, there's a, the training food went into another level rather than taking stimulants, pre-workouts and all of this, which is like bro science. There was a new science amongst guys that wanted to be um, distance riders and stuff like that. And they started to talk about adaptogens, which is a new way of getting the best out of yourself, which is to take away the stress so you can work harder, like using cordyceps. And then I started getting into how do you get these things into your body? Then I look at astragalus. If you take the cordyceps, it will absorb into the body a lot more. And like honey absorbs allows you to absorb more stuff rather than urinate, urinating out all the stuff you just put in. So I basically I understood that um, food can also cause you stress if it's regarded as the, to, by the body as a poison. It, the body will get stressed, it will overwork. Again, you're wearing out your energies. I want that energy. But energy gives you, gives you patience with people. When you've got energy, you have patience. You don't have energy, get away from me.